Okay, so the last two that we need to talk about on this page would be, again, our digital storage oscilloscope, and uh, that's number two, and number four is our gas analyzer. Let me introduce the gas analyzer part, and then hopefully um, I can get that video linked into this as well. Um, if you think about tailpipe emissions, and you talk about a misfire, and this is actually very basic. If you have an ignition or a compression misfire, is the fuel still getting pulled into the cylinder? So think about the intake stroke, intake valve opens, we pull air and fuel into that cylinder. And, and then the valve's closed, the piston compresses. Um, if you have a compression problem, it's not gonna fire, right? We have to squeeze it and heat it before it'll fire. Um, so once the exhaust valve opens, we're pumping all that out in the, into the tailpipe. Raw, unburned fuel in the tailpipe. Hydrocarbon emissions are our ACs, unburned fuel. Uh, same way with an, with an ignition problem. You pull the air fuel charge in, compress it, but we don't fire it. We pump out raw fuel, AC hydrocarbons, out of the exhaust. Yes? Don't, uh, wouldn't uh, a distributor cap do the same thing to you? That's a Yes, but uh, the question was, wouldn't a, a distributor cap do the same thing? And, and the answer is yes. And what I'm not pointing out here is what's the cause in the secondary, because we could have bad plug, we could have bad wire, we could have bad cap, bad rotor. This test is more, is it fuel related or not? Okay, so what we're going to use with this test is if we have an injector that's not opening, and it's, it's saying that right here, an injector that's not open, so a no fuel at all coming into that cylinder, an injector not opening, is your hydrocarbon levels going to increase at the tailpipe? And the answer is no, they won't. In that video that we did, that me and Eric did, um, we uh, had that truck in here, and our hydrocarbon emissions on the tailpipe, they look normal. In fact, if you would have done a, a tailpipe emission test on that car, it would have passed. So I'm just using this test to, uh, as a quick identification that we had an injector problem. And that's what we did. It was direction. This is a direction-based test. What are the tailpipe emissions? If the ACs are very high, that doesn't tell you if it's compression or ignition or where that ignition problem is. It only says that injector is functioning. Uh, I'm going to go towards compression and ignition next. And believe it or not, here with this tailpipe test, you can actually use your nose uh, as a input to direction you're going. I had a, a couple students that were dealing with a Mitsubishi down at the end of the garage. I'm walking outside, walked past the tailpipe. They didn't have a hose on it, by the way, which is pretty typical. You know, put a hose on that car, especially with a miss. But I heard the car, you can hear a misfire, very distinct, very repetitive in its sound. And uh, I, as I'm walking past the car, I'm like, check that injector. And I didn't say anything else. Just kept walking. About an hour or so later, they come over and they're like, how did you know that that had an injector problem? Because that's what it was. What was it? It was the smell of the tailpipe. It smelled like a good running car. You, if you smell the tailpipe of a good running car, it doesn't stink. It doesn't burn your eyes. It doesn't, right? You get a, a misfire from raw fuel coming out of the tailpipe, it freaking stinks fast, right? So, I mean, that's all it was. It wasn't some magic or, you know, I didn't have a magic wand. It was just using it, thinking about this test and having a direction that it had an injector problem. So important information, definitely cool. Um, I'll show you the video on that in a few. All right, we, we're doing some baseline testing first, and uh, this car is not running perfect. This is... Uh, an older Chrysler, and uh, it's got a little bit of a misfire. We're not worried about the car as much as we are the test. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort out a plug wire, and then we're gonna pull an injector, and we're gonna take a look at these hydrocarbon readings. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to unplug the fuel injector. So I'm under the hood, gonna reach down, unplug the injector. Injector is unplugged. We got a single cylinder miss going right now. See the injectors unplugged? Let's go back to the machine, take a look at these numbers. Okay, this is our dead misfire with the injector unplugged. And notice the hydrocarbon readings have really not changed much at all. Uh, if anything, they're actually improving a little bit. 
So I've got a dead misfire with good hydrocarbon readings. Be nice to see our O2 content here. Uh, the O2 sensor in this old machine is is uh, is dead. Uh, this thing's so old we didn't bother replacing it. But this actually for for the year of this car, which is a 1990 in Pennsylvania, this would actually pass emissions right now. Your numbers for this car for a uh, two-speed idle test were 220 on the hydrocarbons and 1.2 on the COs. Uh, injector is unplugged. This car would get a sticker. So improvement actually with the injector unplugged. I'm gonna plug the injector back in and we'll see what the numbers look like. Looks like the cat's heating up a little bit too. All right, just plug the injector back in. Let's take a look at these numbers with the injector plugged back in. Granted this car isn't running perfect. A little bit of a jump in COs there, a little bit of jump in, in hydrocarbons. So that's what the injector plugs back in. So injector misfire, right? Normal to low hydrocarbon readings. Low, the lower the better, of course. Now I'm gonna do the plug wire next. Let's watch the plug wire. Question addressed to me real quick was why the hydrocarbons get better with the um, Injector unplugged and the answer to that is you're pumping fresh oxygen to that cat So the cat's able to do its job a little bit better the other thing too when we started this the cat was pretty cold So our numbers were were a little bit elevated, but No change in hydrocarbons with the uh, Injector unplugged we could say the, the tailpipe emissions if anything they got better dead cylinder miss Injector all right now. I'm going after spark what I'm doing. I got a, a jumper wire installed and I always want to give this spark somewhere to go. And I'm gonna let that arc to my jumper wire, just let that sit there. I don't want that open up and damage, uh, damage the coil module. Let's go to the tail. All right, and that's with the that's with the spark plug wire grounded. Look at those hydrocarbon readings. They are really high. So the point with this again, if your hydrocarbons are high. It's not an injector issue causing your misfire, right? If your hydrocarbons are high, you're looking spark or compression. If you have a misfire and your hydrocarbons are real low, then you go toward the injector. So it's just a, another tool in your toolbox. You may use it, you may not. 